Well, um, man, you got a movie out. For sure. Baby Gangsters. Baby Gangster, man. Written, produced, funded, shot, starred in by all real Crips and Bloods. We brought Crips and Bloods from like 15, 20 different neighborhoods. Sat down, made a plan, and made a movie, man, and showed the whole world this new format for getting money in our communities. Everybody in the movie owns a share in the movie. Shout out to my homeboy, Westbred Diamond, from our schoolyard. You know what I'm saying? He, 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 put, he put the play together, and uh, you know, everybody else in the movie that you see fell in. I, I reached out to a couple homies of mine, we put it together. I reached out to a couple young homies of mine, snatched cats from all over, you know, we, we put it together. Got the homies' cars, and homegirls stepped in to help out. You know what I'm saying? Everybody threw all they, threw all their pennies in, and we came up with a real movie. You know, real gunshots, real shootouts. Real cameras, you know, no but no 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 small budget shit. We went big on it and made a real hood flick. We ain't have one in a long time. And it's it's the best and the realest depiction of our 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 lives. Street life in Southern California. It's real. A lot of other shit being glorified and shit, but this shit right here is just like regular everyday life for us, but it showed the real shit. Not just the bad shit. It showed the hurt shit. The heartfelt shit. The gang interventionists. You got a message in the movie, you know what I'm saying? So we proud about that. Yeah, I, I noticed that it had a positive message in it. Can you mm -hmm. talk about that a little bit? Well, basically, we, we, we wanted to show the reality of what's going on. Because if you're in the hood now, you will see. Everybody, everybody, all the OGs ain't out influencing stupid shit and, and telling niggas to grab a gun and go shoot a motherfucker and all that type of shit. It's big homies in the neighborhood, usually for the most part, telling the youngsters to get their money and take care of their family. And so we wanted to show that. We wanted to show a real look. We wanted to show a real look. And the homies way interactive anyway with a lot of, um, you know, cleaning up the streets of L.A., uh, West Bread Diamond is. And so, man, he, he's with a company, I mean, with a group called Unity One. And uh, they, was, they was big in a lot of the gang troops in L.A. and all that shit. So he been on a mission trying to get the streets right and get the homies together on the page to get money. But we, want, we wanted to show the reality of it. So we put, we put all the shit in it. We got real known street gang activists from LA in the, in the actual movie playing the parts of the activists. Real gang members being real gang members. Shit dope. Yeah, yeah, man. I it was it was really a dope movie. I liked it. How uh, how can people watch it? They got to go to Vimeo. Vimeo online. If you got a smart TV, just go download Vimeo or on your phone. Or better yet, go to Mitchie Slick Wrong Kind on Insta Instagram and look at my bio and just hit the hit the link. You know. Are you guys gonna be getting it on bigger platforms? We were supposed to be in the big in the bit on the big screen, but the, the COVID shit fucked everything up. No way. That's fucked. We had a screening in Hollywood at the uh, Hollywood with the Beverly Hills um whatever theater we was gonna do it up, homie red carpet, all the shit. And then um COVID hit and just fucked up our place. So right now we're trying to figure it out. We're looking for a home for it on a big giant platform, but we ain't trying to give it up for crumbs. So that's what it's about. We're trying to get on one of these big, big, big platforms, but we need the bread though. Have you turned down any deals? Yeah. Hell yeah, we turned down deals. A gang of them. Okay. But we sitting on it. This shit ain't going to get old. Motherfuckers still watching Minister to Society and uh, Boys in the Hood today. You feel me? This shit going to be around. So we ain't tripping. We take our time. We ain't finna fold. Ain't nobody starving. Are you guys planning on doing any more movies? Hell yeah. We trying to go to every hood and make a hood movie. Um... This just the beginning, bro. We already got like two or three scripts on the table right now we finna run with. We just got a format for doing it to where we can include everybody in different neighborhoods. Where we come to your neighborhood, whoever over there body got their bread together, we sit at the table, make some business, and let the hood eat off the movies instead of Hollywood eat off our, our, our lives. You feel me? Yeah, but that, that's later to come. Yeah, man. So how long did it take you guys to put this together? A couple weeks, homie. It took a couple weeks to shoot it. But then far as doing all the behind the scenes shit, man, it took us two and a half years to get it right. But we shot and we shot in 12 days and then edited and sound and color correction, all that shit. It took a while, man. It wasn't no 50, 20, or 30. No, nah, it was some real bands involved. You feel me? We got like a couple thousand, couple million dollar movie. We didn't spend a couple million dollars on it, but it's most definitely a couple of million dollar movie, you know, made. I don't want to compare it to other movies, but for us to spend, to have spent what we spent, and the other big movies spent what they spent, are they gonna hate us when we get the real bad? 
Because mm -hmm. we know what to do now. That first one was a test run. We ready to go now, though. It don't look like a test run, but it was. I mean, it was really put together good, man. Good so, looking, homie. Yeah, for sure, man. You know, congratulations on it, too, man. Thank you, bro. Thank you. You know, you, you know the acting. Thank you. It wasn't like no... You know, generic actors up, or, you know, everything looked real, looked real. And, mm -hmm. you know, it was uh, it was dope, man. Hopefully, hopefully you guys, you know, I, you know, I want to see you guys put some more movies out. For sure. For sure. Yeah.